Question 3. Note 2. X is equal to what? Condition 1. X equals negative 1. Condition 2. X equals negative 1 and 1. Solution. Distinguish between common mistake type 1 and common mistake type 2. If the answer to a DS question requires a yes or no answer, apply CMT1. Otherwise, apply CMT2. Common mistake type 2 or CMT2. There must be only one answer, unique. Note 2. X is equal to what? Condition 1. X is equal to negative 1. Since it is unique, sufficient. Condition 2. X is equal to negative 1 and 1. Since it is not unique, not sufficient. The answer to this question will be in terms of a unique value of X, and therefore, we apply CMT2 to this question. It is important to notice that there is no value after the equal sign. That's why CMT2 is applied. Let's take a look at each condition separately. Condition 1 tells us that x is equal to negative 1. This condition is sufficient as it gives a unique answer, negative 1. Condition 2 tells us that x is equal to negative 1 and 1. This condition is not sufficient as it gives two values for x, negative 1 and 1. Remember that note 1 and note 2 are slightly different questions. The difference between the two questions is that one has a value, 0, following the equal sign, and the other does not. That small difference tells us whether we should apply CMT1 or CMT2. Condition 1 alone is sufficient. So, A is the correct answer. Answer, A.